Hey everyone, this is Adam Lee with PEI, the marketing director over here, and with me I have Jacob Eaker, PEI's director of engineering and also Microsoft P seller, um, formerly known as a VTSP. Jacob, if you want to say hi. Hi everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So today we're going to be talking about call cues. Uh, last month, Microsoft released call cues and auto attendant for Skype for Business Online, and there's a lot of questions going around, and we thought that we'd bring in Jacob, our Director of Engineering and uh, Skype for Business expert, and kind of get some of those questions answered. So, Jake, I'm going to rattle off a couple questions for you, and feel free to answer them in, you know, no particular order. That's all right. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. So... I think what everyone wants to know out there first is, you know, what exactly call queue is um, and what does this really mean for the Skype for Business in the cloud voice solution? Let's start with those two. Okay. Well, a Skype for Business call queue is uh, what would traditionally be considered a hunt group. Um, you know, with, with a hunt group, it allows you to assign a phone number or a DID. And when a call comes into that uh, to that call queue, it gets dispersed to a group of people within the organization. So organizations use these these call queues or hunt groups to uh, for their their mainline or their uh, support desk or maybe for a, a certain sales function, um, you know whatnot. So it allows you to to assign a single number to a, a group of people also without incurring a cost or an additional license with Skype for Business Online. Um, so it, hopefully that answers how they get used and, and, and what they're intended for. This is something that's brand new within Skype for Business Online. Why has this been uh, such a big thing coming forward um, within the last month? The, the reason that this is uh, such big news is um, hunt groups and also the auto attendance, um, you know, is functionality that Microsoft has needed within the Skype for Business Online um, really since Skype for Business Online came out. Um, it's something that has been included with uh, Skype for Business on-prem uh, since, the, since the inception of Skype for Business on-prem. And, and it's functionality that organizations need um, because if you think about how uh, companies use their phone systems, um, yes, you call in directly to people, but you want your customers, your clients, to call into the mainline or to call into these queues. And without that functionality, it meant that we had to do a lot of workarounds to be able to provide that functionality for Skype for Business Online. Um, so the other side of it is this is functionality that has been promised for a very long time from Microsoft and uh, finally having it come to fruition, having it be released, um, makes it a very large deal for organizations that are using Skype for Business Online as their phone system. Great. So. One of the questions that I feel like we get a lot of is, you know, what are the differences between call queues and hunt groups when it comes to on-premise? Sure. So if you look at Skype for Business on-prem, you have what's called response groups. And a response group is either a hunt group or it's an integrated voice response. And, and the difference there is an integrated voice response um, presents the caller with a list of questions. They, and based on those questions, it directs that user to some group or some function that exists. Um, or you have a simple hunt group, which again is just a number assigned to a group of people. Um, the call queues really are more slated to the on-prem hunt groups that the, re that the, re the response groups were able to provide. Um, so it's really more, uh, more directly uh, assigned to those hunt groups themselves. Um, within Skype for Business uh, Online, the real big differences with the hunt groups on premise um, are minute details, but but important details. The first one is um, within on prem, we're able to assign a holiday schedule to it. With online, with call queues, we are not able to do that at this juncture. So um, that's a minute detail, but an important one that people need to know about. The other one is, and, and this more goes into the favor of the call queues. I'm actually able to use distribution groups or uh, exchange distribution groups to be able to assign those groups, whereas on-prem, I've got to build those groups within Skype for Business on-prem and then be able to assign those. So we're, we're able to use some of the functionality of, uh, of Office 365 and the distribution groups to be able to pull those in and be able to use those um, to be able to define what our groups are so instead of creating multiple groups. Um, 
Another difference is the routing methodology for the uh, for the call queues. There's only one um, right now. The the routing methodology is a simultaneous ring, so everybody within that uh, call queue is going to be ring uh, is going to get that call at the same time. Whereas with on-prem, I have a lot of different options for doing that. I can do first in, uh, first call, uh, uh, you know. Uh, parallel, I can do serial, uh, and a few other options within on-prem. So there are more options on-prem than there are through uh, Skype for Business Online. I'm certain those capabilities will be coming later, um, but you know, again, right now it's just simultaneous. Um, the last difference, and, and we, I kind of talked about this at the beginning, this does not involve the integrated voice response or the IVR capability that a response group would have. Um, that should be coming later as well in another revision. Right now, this really is just matching a call queue to the, the hunt group functionality that um, response groups give us within the on-prem. So that gives a few of the of the differences between them. Awesome. Um, what about a quick demonstration showing us what the call queue through the Skype for Business Admin Center looks like? Uh, sure. You know, kind of play around with it a little bit. I know a lot of people are interested to get a, a quick glance of it. Sure. So uh, let me pull up here. So what I'm showing here is our Skype for Business Admin Center. If you notice, you have a new function in here called call routing. And if we click on that, we have two options, our auto attendant and our call queue. Um, again, this is very familiar for anybody that's been using Office 365 Admin. Um, it should look very similar to everything else that they've done within the Office 365 Admin. Um, and that was part of the intent. But if I'm building a new call queue, I'll just go ahead and click on new. And within here, we need to specify a name. So it is a required field to have the name. You choose a phone number. And let's just pick the first one in the list. You pick a domain for that. So I'll just pick ours. You can upload a greeting. Um, and it's preferred to, to have a, a greeting as part of this. You notice it can be an MP3 away of a WMA file. It can actually be pretty large. It's a 5 meg file, so you get quite a bit of time there. You can specify uh, music on hold, so you can use either the default or you can upload an audio file of your own. Call agents. This is one of the big differences. Let me click off of there. If you notice, search for a distribution list. This is not a capability that is in, within Skype for Business on-prem. So you know, I can, um, you know, pick any call queue that, or call agent that I want. So let's just say I want to go to everyone, which is our everyone group. So that specifies that. Um, maximum calls in the queue, how many calls do you want to allow to come in? Um, uh, maximum number of calls to be reached, what, um, what happens at that point? So we can either disconnect with a busy signal or we can forward this call to another number or to another queue if we wanted to. How long can a call wait in queue? So this is a queue timeout. So it means that it can wait in the queue for 20 minutes. Um, you can do a maximum of 45 as it says here. And if a call times out, what do you want it to do? So again, you can uh, disconnect the call or you can forward it to another number or to another queue. And that's really it for setting up a call queue. Um, you know, it's very simple, very easy, and very quick to put it in place and to be able to assign it and uh, to be able to put that out so that you can use that functionality and be able to have a single phone number come in and go to multiple people. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jake, for showing us that. Again, this is coming from PEI, and we are uh, actually recording this on our Skype for Business as well. This is uh, PEI is a Skype operations framework expert and Microsoft partner. Um, Jake, we wanted to thank you again for your time and uh, sure. getting us to show us Skullq. Absolutely. Thank you for having us.